Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news, three news, two news stories for you. Firstly, mediation between Ethiopia and Somalia. It seems that another effort of mediation is underway to solve the dispute between the two countries. Days before likely signing a final agreement between Ethiopia and Somalia. Which country is mediating? Which country has the potential to mediate? Will the two sides agree to this mediation? I'm not talking about Qatar because I told you about Qatar a few days ago. It's another development. Secondly, a far Somali clash is. It's becoming very dangerous now that the federal government is just letting the two sides fight. Where is the federal government fighting still ongoing? More than a month ago, clashes erupted. Off and on clashes ongoing. Details for you about latest development from a far Somali war. Let's start with the first new story, which is about mediation between Turkey, not Turkey, between Ethiopia and Somalia. The two countries are locked into a dispute. Uh, they have been locked into this dispute since January when Ethiopia signed a controversial MOU with Somaliland. Under this MOU, Ethiopia would gain access to sea through Somaliland, would establish a naval base there. In return, Somaliland will get recognition as a country by Ethiopia. Internationally, Somaliland is recognized as part of Somalia. But it has been operating, existing as a separate entity for around three decades. But it lacks international recognition. The MOU is still an MOU, but to counter this MOU, Somalia signed a defense pact with Turkey. Turkey would train Somalia's forces, it would protect Somalia's territorial waters. In return, reportedly, Turkey would have 30% of Somalia's undersea, underwater. Uh, natural resources, oil, gas, metals, etc. Reportedly, because agreement has not been made public, it has been ratified by Somalia's parliament. Uh, it was not presented to Turkish parliament, but it was presented to Somalia's parliament, ratified. No one was shown. Same as with MOU, too, MOU between Ethiopia, Somaliland, not made public so far. It has been signed, it is source of a major conflict in this part of the world, it has not been made public so far. Uh, we have seen some efforts uh, by the countries in the region to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. Somalia has been refusing to talk to Ethiopia. It has been saying no direct talks with Ethiopia until Ethiopia withdraws from the AMU, which is a very strong and extreme position. I mean, why would there will be talks if uh, Ethiopia withdraws. If Ethiopia withdraws from the MOU, the issue will be solved. That is why talks should start, whether Ethiopia withdraws or not. I, I've been saying that for months. It's not that I'm pro-Ethiopia, but logically it doesn't make sense. I mean, if Somalia does not want to talk to Ethiopia until the withdrawal of Ethiopia from the MOU, it means talks will never happen. Uh, we saw that Kenya and Djibouti tried to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. The first round of talks was held reportedly indirect talks in Kenya. It was confirmed by Djibouti's foreign minister. Djibouti was hoping to host second round of talks. It did not happen. But Djibouti wants to stop the MOU because Ethiopia is using Djibouti's ports. Ethiopia does not, Ethiopia wants to divert its cargo from Djibouti to Kenya to Somaliland. Djibouti wants to stop the MOU, whether through mediation, etc. Kenya got its share now. Uh, Ethiopia using Kenyan ports for, it, for its fertilizer uh, imports. Qatar intervened a few days ago. We saw that Team Abi sent a special message to uh, Hamad uh, Tamim ibn Hamad al Sani, Qatri Amir. After that, Qatri Amir called Ethiopian Team Abi and Somalia's president, uh, Hassan. What happened? No, no. Qatar and Turkey are very close. I told you in that video that Qatar, Turkey very close. And Qatar could be relevant in terms of uh, telling Turkey to 
be at a distance from this conflict at the request of Ethiopia or asking Turkey to mediate, Qatar, Turkey can jointly mediate as well because both are on good relations. When Qatar was put under economic siege by Arab countries, back then Turkey supported Qatar. The two are very good friends. Now, reportedly, Turkey is mediating between Ethiopia and Somalia. Uh, last mediation, it seems, because uh, Ethiopia and Somaliland are making progress towards signing of the final agreement. Somaliland says it has hired a technical firm, law firm from law firm from UK. Agreement is being drafted. Three places have been finalized for the establishment of Ethiopian naval base. One best, uh, according to Musabi Abdi, soon the two will meet and they sign. They will sign the agreement. It is being said that on the 26th of June, they'll sign the agreement, Independence Day of Somalia and Somalia. It did not happen. Uh, within the next two weeks, things could happen very rapidly. So before that, now reportedly Turkey is intervening. Somalia is agreeing to Turkish mediation reportedly. Reportedly. No official statements, nothing said formally, but what we have learned is that reportedly. Uh, Somalia has agreed that it is ready to hold meetings with uh, Ethiopian. On which level that may be seen? Will the meetings happen in Turkey or in Qatar? I don't know. But both, I think Turkey and Qatar, both are part of this new effort to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. Will Ethiopia accept Turkish mediation? Well, uh, Turkey has good ties with Ethiopia too, though Turkey has signed a defense pact with Somalia. But uh, I think Ethiopia won't oppose Turkish mediation, especially if it is joint Turkish Qatari mediation, Ethiopia won't oppose it. It will join talks, but it remains to be seen reportedly we could see some progress in terms of engagement, in terms of discussion between Ethiopia and Somalia in coming days, up in coming videos. Secondly, there's a far Somali clash. Where is the Ethiopian fighter? Nowhere to be seen. Dozens have been killed in these clashes so far on both sides. Somalis say no matter what happens, they want to take control of Undofo, Garbai, say, Atato. They were very close to Undofo, I think, but uh, military was deployed in Undofo of far forces too. Uh, military prevented the entry of uh, Somali militias into Undofo. But Somali militias were very close to Undofo uh, a few days ago. They could not completely control Undofo reportedly. Afar forces there, Somali uh, forces are accusing Afar, Gugumo, other groups, Ethiopian military, they're backing Afar militias. Afars are accusing Somali ISA government of Djibouti. It is complicating the situation by backing uh, Somali ISA. Overall, there is no government. I mean, if for a month, Fighting is ongoing in a part of the country in which dozens have been killed, people displaced, uh, properties being looted. It means there is no government. That is how conflicts become hard to handle because you let them get bigger. Just like you let armed groups get bigger and then they become a challenge. Like Farno, I said. Two, a year ago. Small challenge it was last year. Government took it lightly, let it grow big. Now, government wants to talk. Pan don't want to talk. Here to this small Ethio Somali Afar issue, ongoing for years, could turn into a bigger issue as well. Then government will intervene and uh, it will not be in a strong position. This is the time to intervene. Government should uh, implement uh, the decisions, whichever it makes about the territory. Why, what is federal government for? What is ENDF for? What is federal police for? If they cannot impose their writ in Ethiopia. Thank you.